Today, we're gonna to be talking about a tool that can make your product research on eBay a lot easier. eBay's Terapeak helps dropshippers get a competitive edge by giving us some unique and valuable insights. It helps us find some profitable products that currently has some low competition, so that way we can get into the game a lot earlier than most so we can take advantage. Now, what exactly is Terapeak? Well, we're gonna find that out right after this intro. Let's go. What's going on everyone, Mario here with AutoDS. And if you haven't done so already, as always, please make sure to hit that subscribe button as well as ring that little bell notification so you don't miss out on any future videos. Remember that on this channel, we cover anything and everything dropshipping related, starting from some of the best tips and tricks to help you get started in the game, all the way to some of the best products to help you start making some maximum profits. So if that's something that interests you, make sure to subscribe. Also, if you wanna learn a little bit more about eBay's Terapeak, then all you have to do is go ahead and check out the description down below. I'm gonna have a link to a relevant article down there. Now, onto eBay's Terapeak. What exactly is it? So Terapeak is basically an insights and analytics tool. All of its information is based off of supply, demand, as well as pricing data. Now, all of this different data, when understood correctly and actually implemented correctly, can help you optimize your selling strategy so you can offer some better products that are actually trending and people are willing to buy. Now, these are nine key insights that Terapeak provides for us so that way we can gain all the information we need to be able to start optimizing our selling strategy. So for one, we get sourcing insights and sourcing insights give us access to real world sales data from pretty much any eBay category. Now, the awesome thing about this is the fact that this doesn't take into account every single item that there is on eBay. This is only going to take into account items that have been sold. So if you see here, I searched up toys as a category and we actually have two different options. So you can see the ones that are sold, which is actually the ones that we're looking for because obviously we want to know what's currently trending and what's selling. And you also have the option to switch it over to active, which is pretty much all of the listings. But this is irrelevant because it doesn't really help us too much. It doesn't tell us what has sold. So let's go on over to sold. And if you scroll down, you can see all of the different listings that have sold and how much they've sold for. And that's not it. You also get a bunch more. So for one, you get the average sold price. Then you have the average shipping, which is more or less how much people are charging to ship this particular toy and how many have actually sold. So here you can see 650 have sold. The total amount that this seller has made from these sales has been about $4,000. That's pretty crazy. And another awesome insight is it tells you when the last item actually sold. So this one sold August 10th, 2023, which is actually today. So obviously McDonald's, Disney, Pixar, Elemental, Happy Meal toys are a hot seller on eBay. Now let's say you don't want to sell toys and maybe you're selling bathing suits you can also search that up as well so let's look up bathing suits here you have the different categories so let's just go with all categories and you have the average sold price along the pricing range Feel a bit more information here but this is what we want to see these are the ones that have been selling and the ones have been selling quite well actually so this tankini swimsuit for women has been selling for about $11.61 and they've sold 60 of them this is easily something that you can find on something like aliexpress aside from that there's also some swim shorts and a few other garments but as you can see you have all the same information here so you have the average sold price the shipping and how many have sold and how much they've made so as you can see you can gain some pretty valuable insights from here as to how you can price certain products and which products you should actually be offering from certain categories now i know i said that within the two different categories the sold and the active the one that you really need to focus on is the sold and it's true because that is the one that you do want to focus on because that's what's actually moving but if you do click into the active there's also a few bits of information here that can help you out so for one i just looked up right now the category gaming accessories and when you start to scroll down you can see the different listing prices which again don't really help us out too much because we don't know which one of these has actually sold but what it does give us is the amount of watchers which is something that's actually pretty important because it can tell you how much interest a particular item has so as you can see these wireless controllers have 187 watchers this one right here has a thousand and nine watchers so there's interest in these products now are they selling not entirely sure yet because we don't have that information here directly but that there's interest people are definitely interested. If you have a thousand watchers on a listing, that means that listing for one is getting a lot of traffic. And two, a lot of people are actually interested in it. People want to know what happens with it. They want to see how much it sells for, or they want to just be updated to see if the price goes down. So that way they can jump on it and actually make the purchase. Now back under the sold tab, we also have a few other filters. So for one, you can do the condition filter. You have the format filter, the price and the top rated. When it comes to the condition, honestly, as drop shippers, we're always going to be selling new items. We're never going to be selling anything used. So here we can forget about everything else and just keep either new or new other and that's it click on apply then for the format filter we never really do auctions right we don't have any auctions for any of our drop shipping products everything that we sell is purchase now or buy it now so in this case we're going to do fixed price and if you're offering best offers then you can also click on that but i personally don't so click on apply for that then our price filter we can set a minimum and max price which i don't set this because i like to see what people actually sell their items for and what they're being sold for and then the top rated you can either exclude the top rated listings or you can show only the top rated listings i just show everything 
everything. So with our current filter selected, looking under the category of gaming accessories for items that have been sold, we can see that the average sold price has been just under $30 at $29.71. Now the price range is huge. It runs from a very low 79 cents, which could potentially be something super small, maybe like a small accessory, to a whopping $1,800. A lot of the times this comes in with limited editions or items that have been discontinued. Now, if we scroll down a little bit, we can see again, all of the different items that have been sold. And something that we can take away from this is the fact that when it comes to gaming accessories, if we're in that niche, of course, we don't wanna sell anything branded. So we're not gonna be selling any Xbox game passes or anything like that, or any actual controllers. But what we can sell are things like this right here. So a replacement stylus for the 3DS or other gaming accessories such as power cords. These are practically universal, so they don't necessarily have to be specifically for video games, but we can advertise it for certain systems. And another takeaway from these insights in particular is the fact that a lot of these people are not charging shipping. So as you can see, best practices here are free shipping. So for you, my suggestion is try to offer free shipping and just include the price of the shipping and the item itself. Now, using the information that we gained from eBay Terapeak, we can then go to our supplier and start looking for relevant items. So how can we actually expedite this entire process and optimize it so that way we can maximize our profits and minimize the time that we actually have to work? Now, there's two different ways you can use that information. You can either look up a certain category first, and then you can look up the category on your supplier's website, or you can decide on a niche first, check out a few different products on, let's say, AliExpress or AutoDS on our marketplace, and then from there, search up the category on eBay's Terapeak to see more or less what they're selling for. So let's say, for example, I have an accessory store for electronics, and I'm trying to sell a particular type of cable, an internet cable or an ethernet cable. So all I have to do is search up ethernet cable and scroll down, and the first option that I see here has a Cat6 patch cord cable. So this is pretty similar to what I'm talking about. Actually, it is what I'm talking about. And you can see that it's sold for $6.47 with $4.88 for shipping. So that in itself is going to be a total of $6.47 plus $4.88, $11.35. So what I did is I went over to my supplier over at autods.com. I went to the marketplaces tab and I searched up ethernet cable. Then the first listing I found was this one right here, this Cat6 ethernet cable. Once you click into it, you're going to see that the item itself costs $5.19 and it actually has free shipping. So let's go ahead and take what we found on eBay's Terapeak, the total item price being $11.35. And now let's subtract the price for this one, which is $5.19, which actually gives us a profit of pretty much double at $6.16. Now, is it worth selling for a profit of $6? It's really up to you. At the end of the day, it is a couple of extra bucks that you're making. And we can see that actually 718 have sold for a total of $4,646 in profit. That's not that bad. And the last one actually sold today. So really, yeah, it's worth selling. As long as you do the right product research, you find the right products and you find the right profit margin, it doesn't necessarily matter if you're making five or six dollars per sale or if you're making 300. That's a lie. It really does. If you're making $300 per sale for a product, then it's totally worth it. But in this case, realistically speaking, it sells a lot. So as you can see, over 700 have sold. If you can sell maybe 15 or 20 of these. So let's do this and let's multiply it by 20. You're making a little over a hundred bucks. That's not bad. It's a couple of extra bucks that you're making at the end of the day. It's some extra income. Now just do that with multiple products. So if you're in a particular niche or if you're in a particular category, search up that category and see what products are trending. Now you don't necessarily have to stick to a particular niche or category either. You can have a generic store and in that general store, you can be selling pretty much anything you want or a little bit of everything. So you can find different products that have been currently selling and then keep adding those to your store as you go along. In this case, pretty much what you're going to be doing is building up a store full of winning products. So as you can see, eBay's Terapeak is an absolutely fantastic tool. Best part is it's totally free and it gives you some really valuable insights. If you found this information helpful and if you found it enjoyable, if it's something that you're actually going to use, let me know down in the comments below. Let me know what you really think of it and if you're actually going to be using it going forward. Again, this is pretty good and pretty easy product research all at your fingertips. All you have to do is just search up a couple different categories. Also, if you did find this video helpful and informational, please make sure to leave a like and make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also, make sure you hit the little bell notification so you don't miss out on any future videos. Huge thank you to everyone for watching, especially if you made it this far all the way to the end. Remember, if you want more information on eBay's Terapeak, just check out the description down below. I'm going to have a link to a relevant article down there. Once again, my name is Mario with AutoDS and I'll catch you all next time.